YouTube. I am Pinstar, and this is City Skyline Strategy and Tactics episode 21. So, uh, today we are going to focus on our transportation network, our mass transportation network, rather than our road transportation network that we've been eternally fussing over. Uh, now you'll notice here um, uh, something a little bit different. Yes, I've actually stripped out and deleted all of our bus lines and all of our metro lines. No, we are not abandoning that. That would be suicide. That would be crazy. Um, no, we're not doing any uh, anything of the sort. We are instead just going to be redrawing them, but with a little bit more space optimizations in mind. Now let's take a look at our initial numbers here. 20, uh, 2195 metro per week. Uh, with 19 tourists and 213 bus. So we're going to try and improve that a bit more um, in either area. Uh, ultimately, we want more on the metro, uh, but improving bus uh, transportation is not a bad thing either. Um, now, one other thing I note, uh, noted here, I deleted the King's Row extra one here. That's a little bit redundant. We're going to help make up for the, uh, the that uh, with uh, some bus lines in there. Uh, one other thing I noticed we need to do here is that this metro stop is no longer relevant because uh, nobody's going to be getting off at the highway here. So we need to move this beast. Um, and since we just deleted a whole bunch of things, we might as well. Um, I'd say, why don't we put it right here? It's right next to a, a tourist destination. It's right next to uh, um, a on-ramp to our Skyway network. So, um, and it's, uh, it's still quite near pretty much all the other offices and other goodies that people would want to go to. Um, and we'll certainly start feeding into that with some bus lines. Uh, let's get our metro uh, system uh, repaired here. Let's see here. We certainly have the cash to start playing around willy-nilly with our metro lines here. So I'm not too, uh, not too worried about that. Not too worried at all. Okay, so we've got that all set up. So what uh, what, what what improved methodologies are we going to be practicing here? Um, well, the main idea that we're um, that I'm having here is that we want to have a sort of a um, well, there's a couple different methodologies. One is sort of like a fork system, where a you have a central hub like this. This right here, this is like the mega central hub right here, uh, the residential network of Perez Park. Uh, so this, we can have going a bunch of routes out and back. So what I'm talking about here is if we make a new line here, we're going to have it go out and back. We're not going to complete, we're not going to finish it there. We're going to have it go out. Oh, hang on, come on. Work with me here. No, we don't need another stop here. Drag. There we go. Out and, and then back. Out and then back, out and back. And we pretty much want to do this for all of the connectors for Perez Park here. Um, and then out here, and then finally back. So it should, although, hmm, actually, hang on, nope, that's not right. That is not right. Yeah, there's only one stop there. All right, let's let's try this with a slightly different methodology here. Slightly different methodology, because the, the the whole point of this is that we want we want the metro to stop back at that hub every single time. So actually, let's let's draw it from the branches out and back, out and then back again, out again back again. Um, yeah, we can do an out again, back again, out again, back again, out again, back again, and then uh, out again. And that looks like it completes the line. Yep. So now we have everything sort of feeding into this one. 
Um, we're gonna have a little tiny micro line here feeding into uh, feeding into this one. This actually probably doesn't need a, me a dedicated metro line um, off feeding off of this, but I'm still gonna hook it up since we've got the piping anyway. All right, now the other method we're going to be doing here is we're going to be doing a double loop where um, we're going to have one here and we're just going to have it loop around the city here, uh, throwing in stops in each uh, each place. Um, yeah, we'll put you in a boom town, but then I'll, we'll have you go down to King's Row. Uh, we'll make the obligatory uh, stop in the mega hub, but then we're going to go down here and complete the loop. Now, to help our coverage here, we're going to do the exact same thing with a brand new line. But we're going to go the opposite direction here. Um, up to here. King's Row. And then dip into Boomtown. Into here. Into here. Into here. And finally, ending here. Did I miss something? Why are you telling me your... Why are you telling me your... That I sent you to go here? Game. Okay then, I guess we'll make a double-double loop. Well, either way, we're going to have trams going back and forth in, in that manner. Um, and we should have, this should allow uh, things to get visited pretty frequently. Uh, now I am going to start looking at the station buildup uh, somewhere like here compared to here. If this thing starts building up too much, we'll make its own dedicated route. Alright, so now on to buses. Now buses is, are going to be sort of our general feeder routes. And what we want to do is we want buses to get people onto our metro system. Because ultimately the metro system is where we want people to, to be using. Um, now what, um, um, and it's not just getting to the metro system, it's getting from the metro system. So if we have a, a, a good way for people once they get off at a metro to get where they're going, uh, that doesn't involve driving, um, and if it's too far to be walking, then we definitely want to make use of that. So we are going to make a new line right here next to our uh, right next to our metro station on that side of the road, uh, and we need to start tapping into these places up here. Um, let's, uh, let's add let's add the stop right here. Actually, might, since we're on 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 the road on the way here, we'll add it right here. Mm -hmm, that's a way to get in. Having to go down that way. Add a stop there, and then, um, yeah, that's not too bad. That just loops itself around. So that's sort of like the northern line here of, of this. Now we want a southern line here that picks up residents and takes it specifically to, uh, um, to here. So we're going to do, an, again, once again, out and back. So out, back, out and back and that should be enough for this so we'll complete the line here so two out and backs there one out and well two two outs and one back there uh is there anywhere else that needs to be hooked up uh this area looks like it needs some attention so uh, we're gonna go out and this is gonna be our back Um, and then I'd say, yeah, we do, we do, uh, do another out. Actually, we could do an out up here. And then, uh, and then back. And then that should complete the line here. Without it taking any funky paths. Perfect. Alright, now for a couple out and backs over in this direction. Let's, um, yeah, we need, a we need some service over in here. So we have an out. And uh, yeah, it's gonna it's gonna loop around, but that's not too much uh, extra extra movement there. Um, and then we could do say a uh, you don't want it too close because then people can just walk. Yeah, let's do it down here. Out, back again. 
and then back up here. There we go. And then I think one more will do it with King's Row here. Um, since we're only doing the one here, uh, we definitely need to feed into these two areas. So out and back. Out again. Back again. And then back up here. Beautiful. I think everything else is pretty well covered. Um, we did have a bus line going this in this area, um, so maybe it might behoove us to do that uh, since it was working so well. So out, and this this station over here will be our back. Back again, and um, yeah, we'll grab some we'll grab some people from here. Back again to the station, and then back again here. And you know what? We'll do a couple out and backs for this high density area. It looks like it could uh, it could use the help. Out, back, and uh, we'll do uh, heck. We'll do an out up here. Back again. Oh, that line is messy. Hey, why you do this to me? Yeah, all right, we'll live. All right, good enough. Okay, so that now we're we're probably going to create a massive traffic snarl uh, because I just deleted all of the buses and I'm sending out brand new ones. So all the old buses are making their way back. All the people that were on the old buses and on the old trams are going to bail and try and find a new way of transportation here. Um, so yeah, the things are going to be a little bit locked up for a bit, but I do not foresee that being the, uh, the case in the long term. Um, so I'm not going to foresee any uh, particular changes in our economic patterns to be uh, good or bad on a permanent basis until, uh, until things stabilize here. But later on, at the end of this episode, we will check up on our, on our uh, mass transit numbers. Yeah, see, see the... Uh, See the bus depot just vomiting forth new buses uh, to all of our bus lines that we uh, just introduced here. So yeah, that's going to mess with the traffic patterns just a little bit uh, until everything gets stabilized. And uh, for those of you who are con uh, confused, you only need one bus depot for your entire city, presumably. Um, but anytime you make a new line or anytime you delete a line, buses have to come to and from there. And depending on where the lines are in the city, that those buses might have to travel quite a while to get to their routes. Um, for now, I think this one will be just fine. Uh, oh, one other thing that we're going to be doing for our metro system citywide, since uh, we are rolling in the dough with 13k weekly income, um, I'm not going to be a penny pincher here. I want citywide free tr uh, public transportation. I do not care if people are not having to pay for that. I want them on the on the roads there. And yeah, we're going to be snarling traffic here as buses try and uh, try and uh, make do with this area here. But again, not our permanent traffic situation. We're just getting we're we're, we're going through a, a reorganization here. Those can be painful. Um, all right, but our uh, zoning areas are doing uh, developing quite nicely. It's kind of funny this area got cut off, and so everything is uh, everything is a fairly similar shape here. Um, actually, kind of looks good, uh, despite the uh, lack of variety there. Okay, so um, our next task at hand here is you know what I've I've been hemming and hawing about this for quite a while. But I've come to a decision. We are going to make a dock. We're going to make a cargo dock up here at the north. We're going to reorganize our, uh, our six-lane road here. We're going to get rid of the six-lane road, um, specifically. Turn it in so we can turn some stoplights. And, uh, yeah. So let us get that cargo dock going here. Because our industries need it. And lo and behold... With a little bit of creative demolition, we can make it happen. Now, because this thing comes with its own road, and I'm 
fortunately is a two-lane bi-directional road um, that kind of forces our traffic options but we can get creative if we make everything else um, one way um, then the fact that this little thing here is bi-directional isn't going to really hurt us so we're going to do some one-way roads right here like so uh, you so you go down you go up Although you don't need to be, you don't need to be a mega road anymore, or mega, yeah, you don't need to be a mega road anymore. No, you do not. Yeah, cause that's, well, that's one way over in that direction. Yeah, this kind of, this has kind of lost its, uh, its, its purpose here. So yeah, this thing right here can actually get shrunk down to just a normal two-lane road. And now that we are shrinking things, we can probably just space them out so we can get more, uh, we can get more, uh, more mileage out of it. Actually, since we're just doing off of the uh, base here, let's. Um, uh, actually, we don't want too many intersections there. There we go. And yeah, we'll do something like that. That's one way up here, and then they can get up and then loop around there. So yeah, we're, we're still getting our coverage going here. Uh, meanwhile, uh, we do want these going in this direction. Again, going sticking with the two-lane road here. Like so. And I had a thought for a way that um, uh, King's Row can tap into our new cargo. If we uh, make this, previously this is a highway going this way. Um, but if we make the top of it uh, going this way and then make a little capper over here going one way, trucks from here can get their, get their butts over in here. Uh, meanwhile, if we then take our incineration plant and scooch it a little bit, and now that we're swimming in cash, I don't mind scooching these buildings quite so much, um, and then take the top of this and plug it into the top of this tree, the trucks can get back in the other direction. And then last, um, yeah, that's that should be uh, that should be a good bi-directional feed here. That cr without snarling traffic too badly here. Uh, now, if we look at our demand here, our industrial demand is way high. Um, so we're going to want to get that flowing here. All the de industrial demand. The other thing I realized is these industrial zones don't need to be uh, timber anymore. Um, mainly because, um, yeah, we can get rid of these offices now. These we, we want these to be industrial industrial since they're so close to the harbor. Uh, the cargo harbor, that is. And industrial zones like the cargo harbor more than the offices do. So yeah, you guys... You guys can all be industrial. You guys can stay as you are. Um, so what I'm going to do here is um, Atlas Park is not going to um, exist in there. And actually, you know what? Boomtown doesn't need to be separate from Kings Row anymore. Uh, truth be told here. Uh, we do want to have those farms down there at the bottom. Um, but uh, Kings Row can be its own, it do its own thing here and claim, make claim to these areas here. Uh, we're still going to give Atlas Park its... Um, oops its little uh, sliver up here at the top, because that little patch up there is really fertile for uh, forestry products. Uh, but we uh, we can make Kings Row the whole thing here now uh, without uh, too much worry on there. Uh, let's see, what are you? You're, you're one way. So um, I'll just plug you in right here. Here, make a little loop-de-loop. Yeah, we want all of these zoned properly. So yeah, we're gonna lose a whole bunch of stuff, but get ready for some prices writing here. Because industrial zones love cargo harbors. They love cargo terminals, 
They love, they love that kind of stuff. And when they say we need more services to upgrade, they're talking about cargo terminals and tar cargo bays and all that fun stuff. That is precisely what they are talking about. So yeah, we're gonna get a lot of industrial. We're see, look, we're getting, we're getting some splash back over here. Um, we we're getting some happy times, and actually, that should solve our little thick problem over here because now the trucks are going to be going up here and coming from back from here so pre ideally they're not even going to be touching the highway um, we should have a nice little up and up and back feeder system uh, going this way so uh, yeah let's uh, let's speed things up and see how they go I guess you guys on the edge can still be uh, can still be forestry products, but yeah, they are growing quickly, uh, fulfilling our industrial demand nice and quick. Um, and these um, these these uh, level yeah level twos uh, going up here, we should see start seeing some level threes, um, especially once they fully realize um, that there's a harbor in town, because they love themselves some harbors. Uh, we should also see some traffic normalization around the rest of the city now that our buses are getting in place. Uh, and look at that! Look, we already cleared that nonsense up. Uh, we should start seeing some shipping uh, along here as well. So there we go. Uh, I, I, I would say a successful addition to the harbor, but let's uh, take a look here. So we got a nice stream of traffic in. Here's another tip right here. Um, have your cargo uh, ships and cargo terminals, this applies to trains too, um, going um, in this direction because the cars that want to go in are not crossing the path of the cars uh, that want to come out. Um, so it cuts down on the amount of congestion and traffic. Alright, so this just, we just got a, a delivery here. This thing's vomiting trucks forth, as it should. They're all taking this little bypass here, which is perfectly fine. That's why I built it, so you guys don't get hung up on the roundabout. The guys are um, are flowing down the uh, the traffic here. Actually, next time uh, next time a ship arrives, I'm going to look at where one of its deliveries goes, just to just to make sure that our traffic pathing and pa traffic patterning is working fine. Uh, let's take a let's take a peek at our numbers here. Our uh, bus usage is way up, and our uh, metro usage is still nice and healthy. So, um, all right, we just had a thing. All right, where are you going? Let's find out. Let's importing agricultural products. So yeah, our little strip of farms is not enough to uh, to feed the rest of our uh, uh, industry for agriculture, but that's okay. That's okay by me. All right, we're doing a little, uh, yeah, the little U-turn here, which is fine. Taking a little uh, turn up here. All right, and, uh, and then dump that off and make another pass through there. I guess, uh, yeah, they had to take the, the scenic route to get to there. That should be fine. Now, interesting. We're starting to get some. We're starting to get them whining about uh, workers uh, again, but we don't have any demand for residential. You usually, uh, when you when you get that, you get some residential demand. But this should clear it up, and it's not too bad. All right, let's take a look at uh, some of our our uh, passenger waiting loads here. All right, so a uh, decent number of uh, folk uh, waiting here. Yeah, massive number of people here, but there's 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 going to be things that are stopping all the time here. Yeah, getting on, getting off, getting on, getting off. This is like premier hub central. And actually, you know what? Because this area is so freaking busy, um, it might behoove us to get a, a bus line going off of here to some some uh, potentially. Oh boy, uh, uh, electricity, electricity, ha. Huh. Uh, we need electricity. What do we need? Uh, electricity. We certainly need some electricity. 
Whew, okay. Um, well, we're pretty close to unlocking this nuclear power. Wow, we are really close to unlocking uh, this nuclear power plant. Uh, population, could you gain a little bit faster for us, please? So that we might unlock this nuclear power plant and uh, uh, before those uh, electricity zots um, consume us. Come on. Eight more people. Thank you! All right, Colossal City, and just in time to unlock the nuclear power plant. Um, let's see. Oh, nice patch of space up here. Maybe not up there, not up there, not up there. Come on, help me out. Oh, perfect. Beautiful. Because, um, yeah, all it does is generate noise pollution, and this is all commercial and offices up here, so they won't mind. Um... So there, that should solve our, uh, our our power woes for quite a while. Took a chunk of change out of my uh, out of my pocket, but it should uh, it should go back to normal. There we go. All right, back to uh, back to uh, making a bus line off of this mega hub here. We uh, we can do a lot of good with this with this beast here. Uh, we just got to think of a way. Let's see. Actually, what we can do. Um, Let's, let's start you off down here. This is kind of similar to the to a hub that I had formed before. Uh, what side of the street are you on? Oh, there. Alright, uh, there and back, and then where... Where can we go that is easy for you to get there and back from? Um, ooh, we could have you go like right here or something like that. Yeah, something like closer down here. Maybe uh, some maybe something closer to where one of the uh, one of the uh, the roads here are, are shimmying down. Oh, I realized I'm probably skimping a little bit on my Skyway access lines here. That might be a problem. All right, here, let's fix that real quick. Yeah, I am skimping on my Skyway access here. There's, there's plenty of things interconnecting here, but no way for somebody to get down from, uh, from the network up here, and that's no good for anybody. Oop. Made it double wide. There we go. That's 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 much better. And yeah, let's let's do it for this line as well. I forgot that this was an oddly created uh uh, Weeping Willow Zone, so I didn't uh, I didn't remember to thread all of the uh, Skyway lines, and that might have been part of the reason for some of our traffic woes here. But that sh that combined with a, uh, a nice uh, bus stop here. Oh yeah, where were we with that? Ah yes. All right, drag a line, add a stop. We'll add a stop. Well, what's easiest for you to get to? Um, okay. And then I think that goes, yeah, that goes back again. And then we just tell it to go. No, we didn't want to move that stuff. Oh, God. Game. Game. No. Bad game. Go to your room. Alright, let's try this again. There. Two here, two here, and back to here again, and then back to here again. That should uh, that should uh, that should bring in some good numbers and make it worth the slight extra traffic that we're introducing into our lines here with that. 
All right, we are getting some complaints of garbage. Um, do our trash compactors have proper access? Yes, you do. And what the dilly? What's the dealio, yo? Oh yeah, what's our what's our uh, incineration status at? Ooh yeah, let's get another. Let's drop another incinerator. We need to keep up on that. In fact, is there anybody who is slightly lacking call, uh, 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 coverage with incineration? You guys are, but um, well, if no, well, yeah, no, that would just that would just murder the. Uh, no, that actually gives them a little bit more coverage up there. Doing it like that. All right, incinerators away. There we go. Alright, yeah, and you guys are just kind of doing your thing. So, yeah, um, good, uh, I'm, I'm, I'm happy with my harbor placement here. Uh, happy with my traffic flows here in the industrial. We cleared up that, uh, that log jam. Um, Perez Park is looking pretty darn good. Um, our, our one, our, our, our two roundabouts are behaving themselves. Um, this area is behaving itself. Yeah, there we go. See, with a little uh, TLC and a little uh, little uh, extra focus on your uh, uh, mass transportation networks, you can make uh, you can you can make those nasty traffic problems go away, or at least mitigate themselves. So, um, if you like this episode and you want to see more like it, go ahead and let uh, uh, hit that like button. Uh, hit that subscribe button and leave me a comment, good, bad, or indifferent. Your feedback is always welcome. So until next time, this has been Pinstar, signing out. See ya.